grandmother of one of the victims, Rosa Maria Ramirez. We thank you so much for joining us during what we can only imagine is a really excruciating time. You lost your 10-year-old granddaughter, Alethea. Um, tell us about how you learned about her passing yesterday. Yesterday, I found out by my, my sister. She's like, there's been a shooting in Uvalde, in one of the schools. She mistakenly heard the, the name of the, of the school. She said Ross. And I was like, I don't, I don't think there's a Ross in, in Uvalde. Um, maybe it's the wrong, they were saying the wrong town. And then the, she call, called me again. She's like, no, call and see, call Ryan, which is my son. Call Ryan and see where, how, if, if she's okay, if your is okay. And uh, I called Ryan and she says, no, mom, everything's okay. She's at the Civic Center. They took all the kids to the Civic Center and uh, believing that she was there. Why did he think that? Because they, uh, they would tell him that all kids were at the Civic Center. Okay. And uh, first, first it was like there was only one child deceased. And then all of a sudden it jumped from one child to 18. And where we started getting worried and I came over here because I'm from Delhi. Um, I came over here to um, help him, to see if I could help him uh, go look for her or what. But in the meantime that I was driving over here, I was calling hospitals and nobody had her. Nobody had her because the reason that I was calling is because he had already came to the Civic Center and they told her she wasn't there. She says, oh, so if she's not there, where is she? They wouldn't, they wouldn't tell us that she was. All this time, she had, they had her little body right there, in there, all those little kids in there. They didn't let us know till midnight that she was there, that she was one of the victims. It was, it was very, very hard. Understandably so. How are you holding up now? What's keeping you going? My other grandkids and my son and my daughter-in-law, right now it's what I'm being strong for them. Right now I'm their voice because they're not able to talk right now. Yeah, I understand what so. And um, I'm also here for, for Alethea. She's, um, she needs to be heard, not just her, like I said, all the other kids. How would you describe Alithia for people who never had the chance to meet her? Oh my God, she was a very talented little girl. She loved to draw. She was real sweet. Never getting into trouble. She, like I said, she likes to draw. She was drawing. Um, she was drawing to be able to put her drawing in the Google. She was trying to win the Google um, art. Do you remember the last time you saw her? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. They showered me with gifts. What would you like to say to lawmakers who are trying to figure out now how they should react? Well, actually, the lawmakers uh, should enforce the gun, uh, the, uh, how they are able to get the guns. Um, how can they let an 18-year-old buy guns, especially those guns that he had? Wouldn't they have any questions? Why would he buy those guns? Why didn't they investigate more his background or any, anything on him, on him? Well, Rosa, we thank you so much for your time and, and speaking out and the, the spirit on behalf of, 
of 10-year-old Alithia and, and our condolences and prayers to, to you and your family. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.